revealed, Trump, Putin held a second, undisclosed meeting at G20 summit. President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin held a second, previously undisclosed meeting at the G20 summit earlier this month in Germany, a White House official said on Tuesday. The two leaders held a two-hour meeting on July 7 in which Trump later said Putin denied allegations that he directed efforts to meddle in the 2016 U.S. The undisclosed chat took place during a G20 dinner for world leaders. Trump left his seat to sit next to Putin, the Washington Post reported. Putin had a translator with him, while Trump was alone. Trump blasted the coverage on Tuesday night in a tweet saying, Fake news story of secret dinner with Putin is sick. All G20 leaders, and spouses, were invited by the Chancellor of Germany. He added, the fake news is becoming more and more dishonest. Even a dinner arranged for top 20 leaders in Germany is made to look sinister. The White House, in a statement, claimed it was only a brief conversation. However the New York Times and the Washington Post both said the meeting went on for an hour. The nature of the meeting with no U.S. officials present to take notes means that knowing what happened depends entirely on the president's recollection of events. The undisclosed meeting could explain discrepancies between the Russian and U.S. versions of what they spoke about at the G20. Trump tweeted on July 9, sanctions were not discussed at my meeting with President Putin. Nothing will be done until the Ukrainian and Syrian problems are solved. Putin said subsequently that he had pressed for the return of Russian-owned diplomatic compounds that were seized by the Obama administration in retaliation for Russian election interference. Pretty much everyone at the dinner thought this was really weird, that here is the President of the United States who clearly wants to display that he has a better relationship personally with President Putin than any of us, or simply doesn't care," Ian Bremmer, president of the Eurasia Group, told The New York Times. According to the White House Trump approached Putin and Melania at the end of the meal. U.S. translator spoke Japanese, not Russian, so the conversation with Putin used the Russian one. In a statement, the White House said, the insinuation that the White House has tried to hide a second meeting is false, malicious and absurd. It was unclear who had made such an insinuation but the White House had never disclosed the meeting in any form until Tuesday. In fact it was Bremer who revealed its existence in a newsletter to group clients of the Eurasia Group. He also stood by his assertion that the White House had no intention of disclosing the meeting using Twitter and also saying, read out from Trump admin on what was slash wasn't discussed in official meeting W Putin useless when there was one hour convo off books that eve. The lack of information about the meeting at the time may partly be explained by the fact that press were stopped from watching the dinner before the food was served.